Hi, this is Lou Agave, Long Island Lou Tequila. Please follow my social media. Today we're with Greg. Two Gregs. Two Gregs. Greg Dugan. How you doing, folks? H. Agave, Greg. We're sipping with Lou. Where are we, Lou? We're in New Hampshire. We're at uh, Granite Lake. We're having our uh, VIP visitor today who came down from uh, where he lives in New Hampshire. We're having a great time. We're meeting for the first time. We're going to try this unbelievable spirit, which I can't afford, but Gregory had it. <laughs> what we have here is uh, rare hair. Codigo Special Edition, Codigo and Yeo. It's not an extra in Yeo, Lou. This is aged two years. Right. It's finished in uh, French sherry casks, right. but it started off in uh, Napa cab barrels. Nice. So they made this special edition for Playboy. It's called Playboy Rare Hair. Right. Um, and we're going to... They talk about the pleasure in life and so all you're that. Talking, like Playboy, Playboy, with everybody, great presentation. You know? It's NOM 1616, Lou. This bottle came in this beautiful um, it's a laser, laser edge wow. box. Um, comes with four beautiful sipping glasses. I'm going to take these out. We're going to sip out of something a little bit bigger. So yeah. I'm just going to put these over to the side. And you don't want to know the price. Don't want to know the price. So I'm going to say I've seen this going for $800 to $1,000. Oh, man. Is that what you told me, Greg? It's $1,000. Okay. Wow. Rare hair. Uh, Codigo, 1530. Uh, we believe it's all made the same way that regular products are. So yeah, low pressure autoclave and all stainless distillation, right? Yeah, it's all stainless. We're big copper guys. Yeah, we are. We're going to see how this is. We happen to like some of their aged expressions, Lou, um, in the past. Um, oh, that uh, Yeho that we did from the original distillation. The single barrel Yeho oh, we did originally. Oh, amazing. Greg is a, a real big Codigo fan, Greg. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Codigo products. The origin was something that I was able to try back around Christmas uh, 22. Um, impressed, but I do enjoy the Reposado the, and the Yeho, also both great products. Yeah, he's a big fan of this brand, for sure. Look at the rich color on that, huh? Very dark blue. Wow, look at, that. look at that. So you keep talking. I'm going to let it breathe a little bit in the glass. I'm just going to tell you what kind of finish the topper is. It's a rubber topper yeah. and a nice glass standard Coda Go bottle. Beautiful bottle. But it's, um, you know, it's got that Jerusalem cross. Yep, yep, it does. So I, it's just really super expensive. They didn't make many of these. So yeah, really expensive bottle. I'm sure it's a, they say it's limited edition, so I don't know it's the exact number. But you'll be lucky if you get a look at that color. That color on this. is definitely a sherry oh, color. Oh my goodness, this is sherry all the way. It's going to have that probably cherry smell in it and everything. So we just wanted you guys to check this out. So we know Lou, it's, it's, um, it's fermented without fibers. Yes. I believe it's 40 ABV. I think you've got better glasses. I think glasses it was. Than I think it was. So, um, this one is 40. Correct. 40 ABV. You know, they cold filter and they aerate their Añejo. We're assuming that's the way they still made this one. Here. Exactly. This is about the most expensive thing they make. This is it. It's the top of the line. Between you and me, Lou, it's the most expensive bottle I've ever bought. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you I'm bought it. he bought it, yeah. So I, you know what? We knew, I knew Greg was going to come up here and make a special visit. We're at the Granita Cantina. This is our first video live in New Hampshire. We're opening up this new house. It's and, beautiful. And Greg is a big Codigo fan, and I promised Lou if he came up here, I would open his bottle for him. So, yeah, I tried to get to you to open this a year or two ago when we did the Añejo Single Barrel Review. Back on Long Island. Craig, what are you getting on the nose? Ooh. So, I mean, the influence of the barrel on this with the the Cabernet barrels is immediate on the nose on this one. It's, it's similar to the origin. It's got a little bit of that red wine, cherry kind of uh, nose, honey. Oh, man. Definitely cooking spices. Yeah, definitely spicy. The color is yeah. exceptional. Look at the red. Is with that. Hi, 100% apricot. Yeah, Get apricot. That stone, 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 yeah. That stone dry fruit. It's got a, it's almost dry, almost a little astringent going mm -hmm. from there. It'll open day. up a little bit. We just opened it. Yeah, we're going to let it breathe for a couple of seconds. Just really nice. We're up here having a great time in New Hampshire. I mean, let's remember that, you know, anything over a year is considered an Yeho. This is going to be over two years. They finished it, like I said, in the sherry. So we're, we're not approaching X8, um, but we're... It's on the way. It's on the way. That's close. Yeah. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Yeah, it's great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tequila friends are the best friends. You meet them for the first time, you feel like you know them forever. I have to admit, first sip is pretty good. It's got a nice little peppery burn, yeah. which I like. The pepper's light. It's, it, it's, it's apparent. It's right there. But I'm getting that cherry in the front end. Yeah, definitely. Definitely cherry notes. Yeah, yeah, definitely cherry notes. The honey's there. That's pretty. This pretty is pretty nice. This is pretty good. That's <laughs> phenomenal. That's outstanding legs on this too. Yeah. The, the, Oily feel on this one's phenomenal. I have to say, like I said, probably the most expensive bottle I've ever purchased. Um, don't want to score it on the mm. dollar value, but mm. I want to say that it delivers. Yeah. If it was a three hundred dollar, four hundred dollar, I'm going to tell you, I spent more money than that. Um, I would, I would think this is 
an awesome value. Got to remember, it came in the etched box, came with the glasses. It's limited. And they're going for almost a thousand dollars in are. some places. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to be the one, but I mean, it's it smells great. It tastes great. Is it worth this kind of money? In my opinion, no. it's, it's worth it when I open it. It's, it's worth it when he opens it, it or it's worth <laughs> it if you have money to burn. It's worth it to, you know, Luke but, is here and I was able to experience this with these guys. But Greg, you know, you do have, you know, other, other things you can buy. You know, maybe you could buy uh, two or three tiers, <laughs> right? Uh, you could buy some other exquisite I could buy days. five Paradisios. Yeah. I could buy... Um, you like those. You know, right. I do like... Right, so, you know, that's something to consider. It yeah. really is. I mean, it's great. Is it worth that kind of money? I mean, you know. You know... Felipe made a six year. Yeah, the XA, um, yeah. XA in a wood box. Yeah, the Bolons has one. They say, have and, one. and they're selling for that, you know, eight hundred to a thousand dollar price point range also. Right. So this is really for the ballers out there, the collectors, right. the people that have money to burn. Money to burn. And you wanna have a you know, this is a sipper. This is something you come over, somebody comes over to your house, you pour them an ounce right. at the end of the evening and say, Hey, yes. Yeah. So well, I mean, yeah, good yeah, like you said, it's a good quality, that it is. There's no doubt about it. It's just a money issue at that point. But I tell you, take the price out, Lou. I'm scoring this about 89, maybe 90. You take the price out, and this is 239? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going 88 at least. Okay. Definitely. How, how would you score yeah, this? Honestly, this being the high 80s for me, this is definitely the, you know, the profile that I really enjoy. And so you do, know, right? This yeah, is a real matchmaker. Yeah. This would be in high 80s, and this might even hit the, the low 90s for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm like I said, 89, 90, I'm right, I'm right at that point here. And you won't find this on Tequila Matchmaker, it's not listed. No, it's we not may either. We may enter it later, because right. we're on the panel. Right. But, um... No, this is, this is your bottle, right? So I'll have some more. You can have as much as you want. <laughs> I, I like to say the best tequila is the tequila I share with my friends, and this is going to be one of the better ones that we've had. No, nah, this, is, this is really great. So, uh, definitely a treat, there's no doubt about it. You have the money, you might want to check this out for sure. Oh, really nice nose. And it's, it hasn't even really started opening up yet. No, thank you. Any questions? What are you thinking, Greg? Um, you know, honestly, I mean, like I said, you guys know I'm a big fan of the Canigo product. Um, I've actually enjoyed all their expressions. This is one that is not in my collection, Greg, and I appreciate that very much being here today. Uh, well, I put it in my collection, not at this price. Well, level. you know where right. I live, Me and I come here and it's gone. I'll, I'll know where to look for it. <laughs> You'll know where I am, exactly. I'm I mean, the quality's there. The quality's there, but the price is out of control. Right. Yeah, the pro the quality's definitely there. The prune, the prune is nice, you know, the raisin. So as my yeah. my, my partner Sherry. in crime here likes to say, you can't take it with you. No. So, I mean, I don't mind opening any bottle for anyone I, that I know that's going to appreciate it. No, I mean that. And I, <laughs> no, I knew Greg would appreciate it. I know you would appreciate it. I do. You know, I'm not going to have somebody drink uh, celebrity tequila and says, hey, can I have a sip of this? Yeah, Casamita goes drink. Well, I try not to say their brand bottle. names. So you, you say celebrity tequila, but yeah. this is truly owned by... Well, George, George, yeah, well, George Strait... Yeah. I don't think I think he adds input. I don't think he's uh, you know really taking control that's of that brand. It's like they're yeah. smart enough to back away and know when uh, you know he voices opinion and that's about it. You it's know? Certainly a rare moment when you have a celebrity backing a product line where it actually still sticks true to its roots. And I think this is really delicious. Yeah, it's opening up nice now. So listen, I don't know uh, ratings wise. So are we gonna we're gonna have to consider the price. We have to. Well, I mean, do, let's let's do this, Luke. Let's take the price out. Let's. Let's, well, take no, the price let's out. See, let me, let's let's look at the rarity. This is not a bottle you're going to find everywhere. No. So forget about the dollar amount. Right. I think the cost offsets the availability. Okay. You know, I'm just saying, if they told me they produced ten thousand of these right. and they were selling them for a thousand dollars, I don't think it's worth it. But right. if you tell me they produced a thousand, we don't know the production number on it right don't. now. But if you tell me they produced a thousand bottles, I think then the value's in the bottle. That's my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to stick with, uh, regardless of the price and all of that, I'm just going to stay with 88 and I'll play it safe. You know, you have the money to buy it, go buy it. It's definitely worth an 88. It's delicious, well made. I'm going to go 89 because I'm trying to think about what I rate 90 or 91s and 92s. I would probably grab those before this. Right. But if you were going to offer me a sip of this, I'm going to be more than happy. To oh, it. absolutely. So anyway, it's but great. Yeah. It's good to meet you, buddy. Likewise. Thanks, guys. He's a big fan of the brand. Thank you, Greg. Good luck with the house. Thanks, guys. And Lou Agave and Greg and Greg and salute. Salute.